When we plan out logic for procedural programs, we use a flowchart or pseudocode. When we plan out logic for a object-oriented program, we use UML, Unified Modeling Language. The first place we start is with creating a class diagram. Class diagrams will have the class name in the top section, attributes, which would be your variables in the section, and functions, which would be your actions in the last. So in our example that we're going to look at tonight, we have a course as the class name, and it has the variables or attributes of department, course, which would be its course number, section, which would be its section number, and title. In this particular one, I'm not embedding any functions or methods into the course. Now, I'm using functions slash methods because whether you call them functions or methods depends on which programming language that you'll use. But you should plan your classes using a class diagram.